I, I came to Manchester 30 some of the years ago when I came to uh, university. I came to study and I liked it so much I never left. I had a, a 15 year career in advertising uh, and I was really pleased to help create a world class advertising agency with an M postcode. Uh, probably up until now I was regarded that as my greatest achievement. Uh, and I kind of got into this industry by accident. 12 years ago I, uh, I lost my mother-in-law, my dog and my, my dad in the space of a few weeks and I decided to have a sort of uh, change of life and change of career. And I ended up supporting a pal uh, to opening Sam's Chop House. So the Victorian Chop House Company was founded 12 years ago to reopen Sam's Chop House. I think we're really lucky now because I've got two iconic Manchester institutions, uh, Mr. Thomas's Chop House and Sam's, and yet, people don't remember that actually they were both failed businesses. The interesting thing about this project is I was approached to perhaps we uh, take, a look at, take a look at this building to see if we would like to rent two of the floors. Um, I like the building so much, a bit like Victor Kayam, I thought I had to buy it. Uh, and we're now engaged in a, in a really exciting but slightly nervous project trying to install two storeys of bar and restaurant, one storey of function floor and two storeys of hotel into this wonderful building uh, before Christmas. I think we're really lucky. We, we, the, the, the Chop House business has a really strong reputation in the city of Manchester. Accountants talk about a thing called goodwill, don't they? And I think I, I really understand what goodwill means because that's the way that people feel about us as a business and as a brand. I think they like our place and they give us a lot of uh, latitude and they care passionately about what we do. It's nice that we have a good reputation. I'm really, really chuffed that we, uh, we trade so strongly. But did I expect us to be, uh, did I expect the business to work out? And so I really don't know. I don't think you ever go into business with expectations. You go into business trying really hard. You go into business setting out to do the best you can. And I've always found that if you do a good job, people follow. I think the best way to talk about the, uh, the success or otherwise of the chop house is really to talk about the way people feel about it. I don't think we're the best people as owners to talk about our business. What I love to do is I love to read the custom comment cards and to see the, uh, see, to, to hear about the good times people have had and also to hear about the, you know, their constructive feedback to help make us a better place. Um, why are we successful? I think we're successful because we try hard. You know, we're successful because we are honest, we care about what we do and probably above all else it's because we employ people who ca characters, people with passion for what they do and if they, you know, they like their jobs and they like what they do as much as the customers do then we've got a recipe for success. I think one of the things we're known for is art and food um, and people often ask me questions about why we do it, you know, is there a link and you know there are famous restaurants around the world La Colombe d'Or and Saint Paul of Ons where struggling artists paid for their food with, uh, with paintings. Uh, but the truth is, the reason why I do it is because it's my, it's my hobby. You know, I, I like art, I like supporting artists, and I think pubs and restaurants make great venues, great places to display work. And what you've got is a captive audience. You know, people are sitting there looking at the walls for, uh, for an hour or two, and it just makes for a more interesting experience. So we, we create art events, and I've got the statue of Lowry and Sam's, and they're they're not marketing things. They're there for fun. They're there because I like them, you know. And I tend, I think people people like them too. And we've got a really exciting uh, opportunity going on here just at the moment. We're, you know, this is filmed on a building site, um, and this year, hopefully in November or maybe even a little bit earlier in October, we'll be opening uh, a new chop house. I'm lucky to have two Sam's and Tom's. Those are ones that in some sense we inherited because they're established businesses and what we're trying to create here is another iconic place, another place that becomes in time a Manchester institution, another place that is completely linked with the fabric of the city um, and we've got 10 weeks now to complete the building job so we will have in the end we'll have uh, a restaurant with 70 covers uh, in what used to be a grain store and a warehouse space, that would be a, quite an interesting loft conversion type feel. Here where I'm sitting now will be a, a, an 80 cover brasserie bar, so it will be chop house classic type food. Outside hopefully we'll have 50 covers in the square facing the town hall, so it will help to transform the civic space into something that we can all be proud of for our city. 
Uh, and then the other really exciting bit is on the, on the first floor here, there'll be a 20 seater boardroom which will provide private dining and business space. And we'll also have an 80 to 100 seater venue, the Memorial Hall, which will be available for business meetings, private parties, functions, weddings. Uh, and that weddings part is the lead into the next stage of the job because next year we'll be opening a boutique hotel with eight top end of the market luxury suites, um, trying to create a, a home from home for people who want to be in the heart of the city. I'm really, really excited about this building. This, for me, has always been one of Manchester's prettiest buildings. Everybody's got their top ten or their top five, and I think most people would have this in, in one of those lists. It's just such a fantastic location. You know, I pinch myself, and I'm sitting here now, owning a little bit of the Town Hall Square in Manchester. Um, we're, we're right in the civic heart of the city. We're in a wonderful space. And actually, the other bit that really excites me, this is a slight regeneration project. The building's been empty for 10 years. It's far too good a building, far too great a location to be empty, you know, like a, a, a smile with a tooth missing or something like that. Uh, and I think the thing that really excites me above all else is just creating something in such a great spot. I just love doing business in Manchester. Uh, this is a business friendly city. We have had so much support and help, backing, call it what you will, from the, uh, from the city itself. You know, one day Sir Richard Lee's turned up asking if he could come around and have a look at the building site. We've had Visit Manchester offering assistance. We've had so many people trying to help us to create something because I think there's a recognition from on the part of the city that it's a tough job being a business in this economy. It's a tough job trying to create new things and I think it's a very commercial uh, town hall, a very commercial town hall and they, they, they try their best to help people to create jobs and that's what, you know, that's what this is all about. We're, there's a lot of investment going on in the building site here and we're employing people doing that but in the end there'll be 50, 60, 70 jobs created out of this building and that's you know, something that's good for all of us. As a business, it's part of our philosophy to, to buy local wherever we can, but the reality is in terms of local produce, that's driven by your commitment to food. What we do is we, we, we create all the meals cooked to order from fresh local ingredients, bought from people that we know personally, who are preferably a, a little bit mad. You know, what we mean about that, we're looking for people who've got a passion for what they do. You know, all of our suppliers are local, we know all of them, uh, and I think that's part, that's part of running a, a business, a joined up business, where um, we all share the same commitment, the same passion. You, know, you talk about Reg Johnson, for instance, and his poultry. Uh, he is passionate about what he does, we're passionate about what we do, and I think the connection between that type of thinking is easy. You can talk about food miles, you can talk about all the sort of marketing baloney, but the reality is we try to make good, honest food from, uh, from ingredients that come from around here. And we're showing off what we do, the best of the Northwest. People often ask me what's next for the business. And I, I think, to be honest, when you're working in this type of business environment, you, there, there isn't a train timetable. We don't know, you know when the 423 is going to pull out into venue number five. But I think one thing that is pretty clear to me is creating restaurants with rooms and getting into individual hotels is something that I'm really personally passionate about. Uh, I think maybe it's an age thing. It may be just that I've got to the age where I think about where I'm going to sleep as well as where I'm going to drink. But uh, I, I am really personally excited by working with beautiful buildings as well. And I think that uh, this may create a model, as people talk about it. This is maybe is the new model for the Chop House Company that will look for boutique hotels great venues, great locations where we can do something that's, uh, that's showing the best of British. You know, we're selling British food, British beers, local produce, and doing that in great local buildings is, it seems to me a nice, it's a nice business to be in.